Hello gorgeous Leo and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Leo. If your Sun sign does not resonate this week, you might like to check out your Moon sign or your Rising sign and for love and romance, your Venus sign. So let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy to be present during this reading for Leo. Guidance for Leo, please, spirit. We have a card that is flipped out for you, Leo. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. There are going to be many different messages that come through with this reading, so just take what resonates in your situation. If you enjoy the reading, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click that notification bell. I really do love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. Guidance for Leo, please, Spirit. Guidance for Leo. Guidance and messages for Leo. Guidance and messages that Leo need to hear right now, please, Spirit. Your energy, the energy around you for the week. Guidance for Leo, please, Spirit. This card here, time to take action, Leo. It is time to take action with something. You will know where this resonates in your life. You will know. It is a call to action this week, Leo. Spirit is telling me that it is a time for truth for you. So in some regard this week, you're going to be living in your truth or finding out about the truth. And it's time to take action to allow this to happen. Let's take a look at this card here. Notice subtle changes. Notice subtle changes around you, Leo. And it says color is power. Select a color you don't normally wear and introduce that into your wardrobe. This changes the energy in your field, including your sense of self. And your goal is to discover how subtle changes can increase or decrease your comfort level. So it may be for some of you that it's necessary for you to make the changes. And for others, it's going to resonate that you're noticing changes in a relationship, subtle changes in the way a person acts, what someone is doing, maybe subtle changes in an environment like the workplace or in your home life. But you'll be very perceptive this week. Very, very perceptive. Let's take a look at this card. Reward yourself. Make sure that you reward yourself. It is coming up to the end of the year, Leo, and I feel that you're needing to take some time for you. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation at a consistently high level. So you may have been really busy. You may have just been putting a lot of time and effort and energy into someone, into a relationship perhaps, or maybe into your work or career or business. Wherever you've been putting your energy and effort, Leo, that is going to pay off. But it is time for you to take a step back. And to reward yourself for the efforts that you have put in, whatever, however that's going to play out in your life. You are planting seeds this week. Planting seeds for a fruitful future. Seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. What a beautiful affirmation. So you're planning the seeds for your future at the moment, or perhaps recently you have been because it is time to take a break or it's time to reward yourself for your efforts. Something may also be changing because this card here is directly below subtle changes. So there may be some growth or some development in an area of your life that you really start to notice this week. 
you start to notice just the first glimpse of something paying off or something starting to develop. The high vibration of compassion is around you, Leo. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. It may be time to take action by actively sharing and living your love. Demonstrate your love. That's the message I'm receiving from spirit. Compassion may also be necessary for a family member. I'm getting that message for some of you. There is a need here to fill up your own cup before you give to others as well. Your cup, your emotions may be on the low side. So before you get drawn into any situation that may need your attention, your energy may involve your emotions, make sure that you Refill your own cup and you take care of yourself and reward yourself. Let loose for a little bit. Enjoy yourself a little bit. Because I feel quite a tense energy around some of you. We have the world, which is a completion of a project or something wrapping up in your life. And it is time to start new very soon. And you recognize that a season is over for you, Leo, and a new season is going to begin. The five of pentacles means that there may be some isolation or perhaps you have been ill. Maybe your health hasn't been the best mental or emotional health as well. Come into this or you are seeing another person in your life that is suffering from some ailment. It may be time to take action in some way, maybe compassion toward them, or perhaps you've already been in this vibration toward them. It's time to take time for you. There may also be concern about finances, money, and and being aware of where you are materially in life and I feel that an, a massive awareness has come through recently or will come through very soon and in this awareness you'll realize that a cycle is coming to a close the knight of cups this is an offer of love or any imp very important message is on its way to you, Leo. A very important message. I feel that you're going to be stepping out in love and compassion towards others. You'll be taking action. Or you'll be planting seeds, as this card says here, towards something that you love. So you may be investing in yourself. Maybe you're wanting to take a course of study. Or you want to go somewhere that you really have wanted to go for a while. It really affects your emotions and your heart. You feel it on that deep emotional level and you're wanting to go visit a particular place or person. So I see you stepping out and doing this. The Ten of Swords. Something is definitely coming to an end that has been painful and difficult. And maybe the end to pain in some way, maybe physical, emotional or mental pain. A cycle is ending, a season is over. And I feel you're moving into a new energy, a new better energy. A more complete and whole energy. And Leo, this is your card. You may be dealing with another Leo because that um, can be the case when this card comes up. But Leo, this ultimately means that you're in your own strength, which I love to see. You are in your own strength. And you're taking back your power. You are understanding yourself more than you ever have before. And you have been strong and courageous. And you should be proud of that. 
You can overcome obstacles with this card. You can overcome obstacles, challenges, and whatever is in front of you that may be blocking you or stopping you. You will have the power, the control, the willpower to move forward. And it doesn't mean bulldozing. It doesn't mean forcing energy. It often means going with the flow in your own strength. That is extremely powerful, Leo. What a beautiful energy. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead, Leo, and I will talk to you all again soon.